Hi there, let's have a look at the impacts of tourism in glacial landscapes. Millions of people visit glacial landscapes in the UK every year. This tourism has economic, social and environmental impacts. The economic impacts are, tourism is commonly the dominant industry in glacial landscapes, but the jobs that tourism provides are often seasonal and don't pay well. Demand for second homes drives up the price of property. This can form, force local people to move out of their home area. Tourism also drives up the cost of living more generally. Social impacts. The increased traffic can cause chaos on the narrow winding roads. Additionally, parking becomes problematic and overpriced. Shops can ch uh, change from selling goods to residents to selling what the tourists want, for example, gifts and souvenirs. Finally, the environmental impacts. Walkers of road footpaths and over time, landscape scars can form. More littering happens during peak times of tourism. Noise and water pollution, if fuel is spit, are created by water sports. Walkers and their pets can disturb wildlife and livestock. And due to lack of parking available, tourists can end up damaging vegetation by parking on grass verges. Let's quickly look at what the environmental impacts of tourism and glacial landscapes are as a recap. Footpath erosion, increased littering, water sports can create noise and water pollution, walkers can disturb wildlife and livestock, and tourists can damage vegetation by parking on grass, verge, grass verges. An economic impact of tourism is it provides local people with jobs. The environmental impact is walkers erode footpaths, and the social impact is if there's not enough car parking available. Now let's have a look at coping with the tourism impacts. Protecting wildlife and farmland. Increasing the provision of bins at popular locations, this means that people don't litter. Installing more signs to remind people not to litter, and encouraging responsible employment. Enjoyment of the countryside are good ways to protect wildlife and farmland. Managing footpath erosion can be done by using hard wearing materials on resurfacing paths. Limiting the damage to the landscape image by receding vegetation and using signposting or fencing to direct visitors into alternate paths. Finally, to manage traffic congestion, glaciated areas can boost the available public transport during tourist season, make the road network more efficient, for example, by providing sign uh, provide, providing signed passing places and encourage the use of alternative modes of transport like bikes. Let's quickly recap that. How can traffic congestion be managed in glacial landscapes? There can be inc increased public transport provision during the peak season, provide signed passing places on single track roads and encourage the use of alternative modes of transport. Increasing provision of bins at popular locations of glacial landscapes to help protect the wildlife and farmland from the impacts of tourism. What are the, glacial, the environmental impacts of tourism in glacial landscapes? Quickly recap that again. It's footpath erosion, increased littering, water sports which create noise and water pollution, walkers disturb wildlife and livestock, and tourist damage vegetation by parking and grass verges. Which of the following helps manage traffic congestion in glacial landscapes? Resurfacing paths with hard wearing materials, providing more bins, or increasing public transport during the peak season? The answer is increasing public transport.